As you walk through the school corridor, your grip on your worn notebook tightens. Within it are pages of intricately detailed pencil drawings, insane Cold War concept aircraft, complex technical schematics, and a few sketches of the F-35 strangely arousing underbelly. The echoes of students' laughter and conversations fill the air. But your mind is a world away, lost in the intricacies of America's defense budget. You've been trying everything you can to land an internship at Boeing. It's been a fantasy for months now. Your heart races with the excitement of the possibility that you could someday, somehow, work in the beating heart of America's military-industrial complex. You pause by a window and watch as a lone bird soars overhead, effortlessly riding the wind. Your thoughts drift to your most recent discovery, a 500 gigabyte CAD file of the F-15 E-Strike Eagle you downloaded from the War Thunder forums. From what you can tell, it seems like the real deal. Even the internal electronic sub-assemblies and wiring harnesses are faithfully modeled. The bell rings, jolting you back to reality. You can't help but smile, Riley. There's nothing like the adrenaline rush of torrenting national secrets. During lunch, you sit at a mercifully secluded table in the corner of the cafeteria, ready to indulge your obsession. Your online sanctuary is a website where borderline autistic people gather to discuss military technology. Today, it seems, is a good day. The contingent of posters drawing feminine BMP2 APCs with fat dumpies has started to lose traction to some actual news. Eagerly, you scroll through the threads, stopping abruptly when you notice something exceptional. There appears to be a leak of classified information about the E3 Sentry. Apparently, the E3 AWACS can use its APY2 PISA radar to remotely power swarms of micro-drones in the upper atmosphere. The revelation fuels pages of heated discussion, and as you scroll, you can't help but be carried along with it. After all, the implications of this new capability are enormous. Near the bottom of the thread, one comment catches your eye. This anonymous user insinuates there's far more to the story. Reading through their comments, you're awestruck by the extensive knowledge they display about the E3, information that, while technically unclassified, reflects a deep working knowledge of the aircraft. As a shot in the dark, you decide to reach out to the commenter privately, hoping they would be willing to share more information. To your surprise, user Shotita Express responds with remarkable speed. They seem to have an answer for every question you can come up with. From operating specifications of the AYR2 ESM sensors, to details of how the UPX-40 IFF system tracks friendly stealth aircraft, nothing seems to be off limits. Over the next 45 minutes, Shotita sends you such an overwhelming volume of classified information that your lunch period vanishes in a blink of an eye. The bell rings and you throw your untouched pizza into the trash without a hint of hunger. Whoever this is, they have your complete attention. The rest of the day passes in a blur. You feel a wave of guilt using your phone under the table in front of your favorite teachers. But the stream of messages is too tantalizing to ignore. Only the last period of the day, a calculus test, forces your phone into your pocket where it pulses every few minutes with new notifications. The bell finally rings, signaling the end of the day. As you step outside of the classroom, you hesitantly take out your phone to check the barrage of unreads from Shotita Express. To your shock, the messages have taken a distinctly impatient turn. This is more important than that quiz you're doing. Answer me now, reads one message. Why are you ignoring me? I know exactly where you are, says another. Then you see the most recent message and your heart skips a beat. I'm outside. Despite your apprehension, you have no choice. Missing the bus home would only add to your problems. With each step you take towards the exit, fear gnaws at your insides, pushing you to reconsider your decision. Heart pounding, you step outside the school building and glance around. Nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe it was all an elaborate prank? Breathing a sigh of relief, you take a step towards the waiting buses. Just as your heart begins to settle, an icy voice sends a shiver down your spine. You took your time, didn't you? You spin around to find the tall, captivating figure of E3 waiting by a railing. Her piercing sky blue eyes drill into you from behind a pair of thin glasses. E3 looks like she could be someone's mom on the way back from the office, but you know better. Closing the distance between you, she effortlessly invades your personal space. Now listen closely. As her fingers encircle your wrist, gripping it tightly. You're in possession of classified documents, which could not only cost you that Boeing internship you're after, but also lead to your arrest by federal authorities. Her proximity overwhelms your senses, making it hard to think straight. Have they taught you about FISA court in civics class? You find yourself staring blankly into her crisp white blouse, the fabric suffocatingly close to your face. E3 smells faintly of engine oil and cold metal, mixed with a more delicate, feminine fragrance. 
A blend of soft floral undertones and a trace of vanilla. Answer me, yes or no. Her voice cuts through the haze in your mind, commanding you back to reality. Uh, no, you stammer, panic rising in your chest. I didn't think they would. Who knows? Maybe they'll just skip that step entirely, and you'll spend the rest of your life in indefinite detention. As she speaks, she effortlessly maneuvers both of you further away from the school, never breaking eye contact or releasing her grip on your arm. How about drinking Ensure through a nasal tube two times a day? Would you like that? Her threats hang heavy in the air, each word stirring a fear you've never experienced before. Paralyzed by panic, you're acutely aware that she can easily make good on her ominous warning. E3 Sentry's demeanor shifts once again. She glides her fingers up your arm, her voice softening to a seductive purr. Or, you could give in to me, comply with my desires. If you do, I promise to shield you from those potential consequences. She whispers, her hot breath tickling against your ear. Despite the alarms blaring in your head, the intoxicating allure of E3 is beginning to take hold. The confusion of terror and arousal leaves you vulnerable and shaken, struggling to stand. Your voice quivers as you manage to force out a single word. How? Her smile spreads into a warm grin as she guides you around the corner of the school building. You won't have to worry about that. E3 sentry murmurs, each silky syllable sending goosebumps up your neck. As you emerge into an isolated parking lot, she slowly leads you towards a nondescript white van parked off to the side. The magnetism radiating from her body compels you to follow her like a moth to a flame. Reaching the van, she pulls open the sliding door and gently but firmly pushes you inside. The darkness within is punctuated only by the faint light seeping through the tinted windows. She climbs in behind you, the door sliding closed with a disturbing finality. In the dim light, E3 looms over you, hands on her hips and intense determination in her eyes. She steps closer, fixing you in her hypnotic stare. In order to protect you, I must know you're loyal to me. Her voice sends chills down your spine. I need you, here and now. Leaning to within an inch of your face, E3 addresses you again, her voice low and stern. I need to hear you say it. Though her grasp tightens around your wrists as if preparing for a struggle, E3's eyes are filled with gentle affection. You can't help but feel a perverse thrill from the power she holds over you. A dark reminder of her military prowess. Tell me you are my property, she whispers. Trembling with a mixture of fear and desire, you finally find your voice. E3, I am your property now, you whisper, eyes wide and vulnerable as you place your fate in her hands. A spark of satisfaction flashes in her eyes before she speaks. No one else can ever know what you have seen today. Do you understand? The intensity of her stare draws out a quiet nod from you, wordlessly confirming your submission to her will. She gazes down at you with a mix of possessiveness and tenderness that is at once both mesmerizing and terrifying. With slow, deliberate movements, she withdraws a cloth and small amber bottle from the confines of her coat pocket. Carefully pouring the bottle's contents onto the rag, Sentry holds it close, cradling it like a delicate treasure. You'll fall asleep for a short while, and when you wake up, I'll explain everything. She murmurs, her voice soft and comforting. You don't need to be afraid. You're mine now. Overwhelmed by confusion and fear, you can't find the strength to resist as she delicately presses the damp cloth against your nose and mouth. The sweet-smelling liquid consumes your senses, and with a jolt, you feel your consciousness begin to slip away. Shush now. It's okay. Shh. I'll take care of you. As your vision fades and you surrender to the warmth of Sentry's body, you can't help but wonder if her words were the truth or a carefully calculated deception. If being with her feels good, does it really matter? Maybe this is what you needed all along.